Hi, I'm Michelle Peremsky with the 180 Your Life podcast, where we pair health and wellness with the grief journey so we can grow stronger together after loss. Today, I have with me Linda Woodley, a health and wellness advocate and one of my dearest friends. Uh, and she really has helped empower my health for decades. We've known each other since we were teens. And, uh, and she drove up from Florida because I was sharing with Linda, you know what? Um, this has been such an amazing experience with creating the 180 Year Life um, curriculum and the videos and then our nonprofit center. But in that process, I gained like 45 pounds because it was stress eating. There's a lot to do. And I thought, all right, that's my new ground zero. And how do I empower my team around that? So I'm going to be introducing you to different people that I genuinely go to in my life for health and wellness advice. Um, so Linda is one of those people. And today we're going to be talking about immunity, how essential oils can support our immunity. So, um, Linda, thank you for being with us. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> so let's talk about, uh, you know, one of the stories I wanted to open up with, and you were with me on this journey because Linda's known me for years. Um, when my daughter Sophia got molluscum contagioso one year, and I, I think that's just Latin for take mommy down. It was so rough for little Sophia. She was under 10 years old at the time, probably I think around seven, and she got these little bumps on her, and it looked like a like centralized uh, chicken pox. And I went to the doctor and they said, well, um, this is a virus, and so you just gotta let it work through the body. It can take a year or two years. What? So I thought, I have to find other solutions. Um, I actually had her blood tested, found out what food sensitivities she had, and then I, and I also called Linda and asked what oils could I use to help her. And I will tell you, by finding out her food sensitivities and finding out the oils that could help, instead of it being a two-year journey, it was a two-month journey. My daughter was done in two months with molluscum contagioso. Now, we had to work a lot at it. I had to put um, uh, different uh, ointments on each individual bump. <laughs> it was a journey. Um, one of the things that we used was oil of oregano. That's not what that is, but we used mm -hmm. oil of oregano. It's a very powerful essential oil that helps our body. Um, I would do it differently. That oil was kind of, uh, it was hot. I think that it's, that's why Linda's here because she can tell us how to use these oils. But I think the first thing is there are some oils that are meant to be put on topically and some oils that are meant to be put, you know, that we can ingest. How do we know the difference, Linda? Okay, well, obviously reading your labels is always very important. Um, so with our oils, we have a supplements facts label on the oils that are for internal use or topical. Um, so we want to look for the supplements facts label um, of the product you're using. And that means that you can ingest it. And these are um, you want to make food grade oils yes. by doTERRA. Right, they are. They're, they're certified pure, third-party mm -hmm. tested. Over two dozen tests are done on our oils to make sure that we have the purity that we want, obviously because that potency and that purity work together to, to bring us the results that we want from our oils each time, right? So we want that consistency. We want that testing. We want to know that what we're putting on our bodies topically and taking internally is going to give us the results that we want. So that's very important. I'm very thankful that I, I know the company I'm using does that much testing. Above and beyond the standard is what we have. Um, so look for your supplements facts label to tell you if you can internalize it. If you don't see a supplements facts label, that would probably most likely mean that it's for topical use only, okay? So whether it's anti-inflammatory results that we're looking for to bring down swelling or pain possibly in a, in a joint, um, we would use certain oils for that. If your oils say not for human consumption, obviously that's something that you, 
again, want to read your labels. Very and, important. And as we talk about using essential oils, we're not saying don't go to the doctor. We're saying consult with your physician to make sure that any change in your diet or what you're doing for the health of your body, um, that you're getting all the advice that you need. And also, we're also not saying that the, the oils will heal your body, but they provide elements that your body needs so that it can heal itself. Um, let's, so let's dig in. Let's talk about, you are a master at combining these different oils so that the synergy uh, really has a very potent effect um, yes. on our bodies. Mm -hmm. So what combinations uh, would you suggest? One thing that I want to say about oil of oregano, I've taken that, sometimes I'll just work so hard. That's one of my flaws is I will work hard and just run my body down. And I have noticed that if I put some oil of oregano in a gel cap, I buy a bag of gel caps from, say, Whole Foods or your natural food grocer, and they're empty. And um, these, oil, these bottles are great because you can actually put a gel cap right over this little nozzle, and then I put a drop or two, and then I ingest it. Mm -hmm. And I have noticed a significant difference when I'm sick um, or even experiencing allergies that the inflammation comes down and I get better faster. Well, let's talk about these plants are actually the immune system of these oils. These oils are the immune system of, of the, the plants. plants. So mm -hmm. when we're applying those or taking those internally, we're going to get those same benefits. We're going to get that support. We're going to get that protection. We're going to get that barrier mm -hmm. um, that would, uh, you know, to resist um, an infection or a virus that would come our way and try to attack our cells. So, um, so, we, so we're boosting our immune system so that we can fight viruses, which oftentimes um, doctors will say, well, this is a virus and you're just going to have right. to ride it out. Right. There are things that you can do to help boost your immune system yes. to shorten that cycle like I did with right. my daughter. Right. And that is the beauty of essential oils. They work on the cellular level. They actually can penetrate a cell. Um, and uh, an effect change inside of that cell, antibacterial, antifungal, antimicrobial properties that are present in these essential oils. Why? Because the plants need a defense system of their own, right? Mm -hmm. And that is the oils of these plants are the plant's defense system. When we take those in internally, when we apply them topically, we're getting that same support. So Again, uh, make sure that you have a supplements facts label. Make sure it says for internal consumption if you're going to con consume them. If right. you're going to put drops in a capsule, make sure yes. that you have, um, you know, you've got a really pure product. So let's talk about the combinations. Mm -hmm. What yeah. do we, what are, set, there? we've got a whole bunch of oils here. Please go over them with me and how you would combine them and how they affect our body. Okay. So these are the oils I've pulled out that are great for immune support. You've got a scratchy throat. You're, you've come up with a stuffy nose, and you know you're you're concerned that it's going to turn into something. And you, no one has time for that, right? Right. So we can support our body on a daily basis, um, and support immune function on a daily basis by simply adding a few drops of oil to our water. Um, or to oh, I do that. That's what this jug is here, right now, right here. This jar, I put oils in my water and I drink it throughout yeah. the day. I'm getting the water that I need so that my body can function well, and I'm delivering the oils into my system. That's right for immune support. It's all about that, right? Mm -hmm. Immune support. Um, so healthy immune function affects every area of the body. Um, so we can, um, we, can, we can blend these together, actually in like a roller bottle of our own. Um, these oils all support and all have strong antiseptic properties, antimicrobial properties. Anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory properties. The citruses are high in that. So let's um, name these oils because wild, some wild folks orange. were... Okay. Yep. Yep. Wild orange, eucalyptus, rosemary... Malaleuca, clove, or oil of oregano, and what is this one? This is copaiba. 
Copaiba. This sounds comes so from exotic. Brazil. Yes, yes. So from the rainforest in Brazil. We love our Copaiba. And then this one right here is called On Guard. This is actually a blend. So mm -hmm. if you don't want to buy separate oils and you just want them already pre-blended for you, That's right. you could get On Guard. And this is actually something that I use in my family. If my girls aren't feeling well, I will, of course, talk to your doctor. Take them to the doctor. We're not saying don't go to the doctor. But you can put oils on their feet, put uh, socks over their feet. Sometimes I'll put it on their chest. Um, I might put it in a tea or in my water. And this is delivering um, a combination of essential oils that will help support the immune system. That's right. I put this on the bottom of my feet at the end of my day, every day. Really? And al allow those oils, right, to be doing their work throughout the night to support my system. Uh, wild orange, you can drink wild orange every day in your water. So many benefits, but one of its strongest benefits it are those cleansing properties. Oh, so you can drink wild orange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, continue. So wild orange, very strong antiseptic properties, very strong cleansing properties in the body. So do be adding that to your water, not only for the energizing and uplifting properties that we've talked about in earlier videos, mm -hmm. but also for the cleansing properties. Anytime, scratchy throat, it's my go-to. I immediately start drinking more wild orange. And on any given day, I might be using one citrus over another just because I... I feel like it for the day. I might be drinking lemon, but if something occurs and I know that I, some, I feel like my immune system is being compromised, I'll go right to the wild orange to get those you know, anti-cleansing properties happening in my body. Um, okay, so then how about, go ahead. Especially for respiratory, anything, you're starting to feel the scratchy throat, anything connected to the bronchioles and the lungs, you want to use your eucalyptus. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Right. And you can ingest that. This has a supplements facts label. This one is for aromatic, okay? Oh, so, it's for aromatic. So Could you put perfect. it on topically on your body? You can, aromatic and topical. So there's okay, a, so there's that a is perfect, not to ingest. There's a perfect example of an oil with no supplements facts label. Ah, so, so do not ingest that, only topical right. and right. putting it in a diffuser. All right, so we've got On Guard. We still have to cover in the next few minutes Malaluca, rosemary, this um, clove, and we talked about oregano and co copaiba. Mm -hmm. All right, talk to us about those. So I love the clove um, for its immune stimulant response that it gives to the body. I love On Guard because all of these oils that we're speaking to right here are actually in this blend. And again, some people like to create their own, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's fabulous. Um, and some people have a preference. And, and, and again, cinnamon is also in the On Guard. Mm, um, that's my personal favorite. And that is favorite. very strong immune support in cinnamon. Very strong antibacterial properties in cinnamon. Um, what is a essential oil that you would put on your chest? That's a good question. You know, like sometimes when my daughter is they're coughing or they're feeling congested, is there anything that we can add to the medicines that we're giving our kids? Right. So let's let's talk about um, the power of cardamom, which is in our breathe blend, which is our respiratory blend or our respiratory mm. support. But again, if you don't have breathe, uh, peppermint and cardamom and eucalyptus would be fabulous to combine in a diffuser, in a diffuser or uh, make your own salve by adding some uh, coconut oil with the essential oils to put. You could do a hot washcloth over to start stimulating and breaking up whatever might be trying to form there, uh, as well as breathing internally and applying topically to that area. Fantastic. So, so peppermint, cardamom and eucalyptus excellent would be um, great for that what other what are other ways that we can use the clove okay clove again as in the oregano very strong properties very strong immune stimulant um, but we don't want to put that on areas of concern topically we want to take that internally if it's um, you know a, a good therapeutic, a food grade a right. good therapeutic grade 
um, with a capsule or to the bottoms of the feet because it is warming. It is stimulating to the skin. And yeah. You're being, pl- yes, I agree. You know, I put this oil of oregano when Sophia had her little bumps from molluscum contagioso and it was hot. It was, it was painful for her to have that directly. It helped, but it, I didn't realize it was going to be painful. Um, but uh, so combining it, I would say with... Fractionated coconut oil. With coconut oil. For a put, massage. Putting it on the bottom of your feet or mm-hmm. possibly... In a doing, capsule. In a capsule, just like one droplet to see how your body takes it. And That's then you right. can always take more. That is correct. Um, and with the oils, because of their, um, their purity... Um, more is not always necessary. It's That's right. actually less is more. Mm-hmm. Um, they're so concentrated. Again, a, a cup of peppermint tea is the equivalent, uh, 28 cups of peppermint tea is the equivalent to one drop of our peppermint oil. Wow. So the oils are super concentrated. They are 50 to 70 times more powerful per drop than their herb counterpart is. That's incredible. So let's keep talking about, what about this copaiba? Copaiba. Copaiba. That's just fun to say, copaiba. Copaiba, its greatest gift would be anti-inflammatory and pain to the body. So absolutely fabulous for topical and uh, topical application to areas of concern, the shoulders, the lower back, any, any joint pain in the knees. Um, and this has a supplement fax label, so you can actually ingest that maybe in yeah. a in a um, in a capsule. You can um, actually under the tongue two drops mm. for deep cellular support. Okay. Possibly paired with frankincense to really give your body the support that it needs. Um, if you are again feel like your immune system is compromised, that with the frankincense. Would Copaiba. be a strong anti-inflammatory. That's that's well, I'm why we're trying that. Yeah, that's why we support the body. And then, and, and, and you know, if there's a pain issue, we're and we said that in, together. in previous podcasts that frankincense is like the king of all essential oils because it it enhances the power yes. of the oil that it's paired with. That is correct. So that's why you're pairing it with frankincense. Yes, because it just jacks up the power. Right, you crank it up. Okay, so we talked about the copaiba, we talked about the clove. How about malaleuca and rosemary? Malaleuca is awesome for cleansing, awesome for its cleansing properties, uh, antimicrobial. So great if there's acne on the skin, great um, as a facial cleanser, um, great to put in a lotion if you're you know, wanting to apply to any area of the body of concern. Um, anything that is of a, a skin concern. It would be very helpful to also pair it with lavender. They're beautiful together. They work well together with the calming and stimulating properties that they both bring and work synergistically together for the for topical skin conditions. All right, how about rosemary? Rosemary, um, clarifying, cleansing, awesome support again that uh, it brings to the immune system if you're wanting to cleanse um, it's also great happens to be great for the hair follicles and cleansing of the scalp so I actually love adding it to my shampoo whatever your favorite shampoo is and massaging that into the scalp Um, very good for that that's incredible I had no idea yeah I have used that on my body, Um, like I said in another podcast, uh, I have a little infrared sauna, it's just a personal little sauna, looks like a a silver cylinder um, that I bought online, and it's my sweat box, and it just helps to get rid of toxins, I might watch some TV while I'm sitting there with a jar of water or two, and I put different essential oils, or I might put them on my body. And um, rosemary, if you're, I guess if you're doing an internal cleanse, yes, very would, antiseptic. Can, so you could put that in your water, right? Yes, here's the supplement facts. That's right. So you could put that in your water. Do, mm-hmm. Does it taste good? It's an herb, right, from the herb garden. We're all familiar with the mm-hmm. rosemary. Very cleansing, very medicinal, very strong. Okay. One drop. I would probably 
Okay, think eucalyptus. Think when you're in, um, when you go to the spa, right, and you get right. in the sauna. Okay. You, what do you smell? They, they put eucalyptus in there. Rosemary's right up there with the eucalyptus. As soon as you smell it, it just opens everything up. You can feel its cleansing properties. Mm. Um, so, yes, that would be very nice to do. Uh, and I don't know that I would internalize it, quite honestly. You can. You can. You could put but, it in. You know what I do is I get, like, some coconut oil, and I'll put some um, drops in my coconut oil, and just put it on my body exactly. and let and it absorb it. Yes. yes. And, and, and you it know. starts working out right. as your body's sweating it out. It exactly. starts working, you know, cleansing the body. So you could potentially, not everybody has a sweat box. I think mine was like $250. It's not a big, you know, a big deal. But the, the infrared um, helps your, at least from what I understand, helps your body to dump its toxins. Mm-hmm. Um, I have found that to be incredibly helpful. Mm-hmm. And then you just sort of have your own personal spa moment and right. you apply. can do that in the shower yeah. you could you could do it I mean, in the shower you I could do it when you go for an exercise right you know you might. I apply the oils before before I get in the shower and actually the hot water helps them to penetrate into the system and it fills the shower and it's a, a great aromatic experience really I'm gonna do that yeah. how about it in the bath do you love put, the bath what's so, what what would you put in a bath? I like lavender um, for its calming and rejuvenating. Fabulous for the skin. You know, um, you got to be careful what you put in the tub, right? Because it's going to touch areas that you want to make sure. So Sensitive to, areas. Yeah, you need to be really careful about yes. that. I've, 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 um, mm-hmm. I know about that in first-hand knowledge because I've put some essential oils in the bathtub and I thought... I don't believe I'm going to do that again. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) So that's why I stick with the lavender, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, It's just so good for the central nervous system. So it's very calming to bring down levels of stress and anxiety and bring balance to the body. That's good. Very restorative properties that it brings to the body. So you have to be careful what you put in your bathwater, but lavender's definitely one you can do. That's right. And you know, as we're talking about that, what happens if you get an essential oil? Like I, you know, I really like the cinnamon. Mm-hmm. There are moments I can take the cinnamon in my mouth. I will have a drop of it um, to refresh in my breath. Um, if I'm wanting some sweets, I might have a ta- little drop of cinnamon helps oil. Helps with digest- digestion. Really great for digestion. Yes, it helps with anti-inflammatory elements. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've gotten it on my lips or a little on my chin if right. I'm, I'm driving and I uh, do a little pop of the cinnamon oil. And it's good hot. Question. Very it's good hot. question. How do you deal with, if you get an oil on yourself mm-hmm. and you're like, whoo, how do, I, how do yeah. I get this off now? Right. <laughs> so, you know, oil and water don't mix. So you don't want to bring water to an oil and think that you can wipe it off. All you're going to do when you put the oil spread on, it. yeah, you're just going to spread it and you're going to drive it deeper, right? Mm. It's not going to attract water and oil don't mix. So you've got the oil going deeper into the skin and you've got the wa- water that's actually pushing it there because they repel each other. So oil and water are not what you're going to do. You're actually going to get your coconut oil Grab an oil, olive oil, almond oil, really? coconut oil, apply, because see the oil will, and those molecules will absorb into another oil, a light kind. Interesting. But not water. So you're going to drive it deeper, and you're going to be experiencing more discomfort if you do it like that. So I have you, experienced that. Yeah, you always want to use a, an oil, Okay. Um, again, sometimes accidentally, right? I'm putting it here because I've got a headache and peppermint's fabulous for, for neck tension or head tension. So, you, you know, sometimes it feels like it's going in the eye and sometimes it, it just feels like I accidentally put it there. So I can just take some coconut oil and just wipe it across there and it just eases those feelings like I got it in my eye. But the vapors are really strong. So you want to close your eyes and you want to apply the oils whenever you do it around the eyes. Just, you know, put yourself in a place where you're going to be able to close your eyes for a few minutes and just receive those good gifts. Oh, that's wonderful. So, yes, I think it's really important, uh, you know, as we, you had said in another podcast, you know, think about what's working for you and what isn't working for you. How did you say it? So powerful. 
Um, so we want to we want to release what no longer serves us. We want to ask ourselves that question: What is no longer serving me? Let it go. And we receive the good the goodness that this world has for us. There's so much goodness. It starts with rest, proper rest. Give yourself the gift of rest. Uh, fresh air and sunshine, 15, 20 minutes a day. Get out. Just look up and receive that light, that life-giving light and breathe Vitamin in. D. Uh, mm -hmm. Fresh air, deep breaths, okay? Whether it's a fast walk or just a walk, it doesn't matter. Just get the body moving. Put some essential oils on like peppermint, lemon to stimulate your body naturally so that you're empowered to do these things and to make these decisions that are right for your body. So we're releasing what no longer serves us, whatever that might be, and we're going to receive the good gifts that have been divinely given to us to support our body. The good choices that we can make. And, you know, um, you can out, we've talked about ingesting them, using them in a caplet, the essential oils, using them topically, putting them in water, even putting them on before we take a shower. One thing that we haven't talked about because we're saving it for our widow workshop tonight is cooking with essential oils like the rosemary right here. You can, you could cook with this, couldn't you? And it's very potent. Yeah. Linda, for years, oh, you know, we all have our strengths and Linda is an amazing cook and she uses raw, incredible food and kicks it up to this gourmet level. And one of her secrets is essential oils, adding them to the food. So she's going to be teaching us um, this evening at the Widow Workshop how to... Um, use essential oils in your cooking. So we're going to be filming that workshop. Um, if you can't make it, if you're not in the um, Atlanta area, then you can watch it at 180u.teachable.com. That's 180u.teachable.com. You can watch that workshop. We will film the entirety of it. And you can learn how to use essential oils in your cooking so you get these benefits you get the wonderful taste everybody's saying like how did you do this and the essential oils are the secret um, so when you do that it is a subscription of only eight dollars per month for eight bucks a month you get to you get to have access to all our video workshops everything it's not that um, you are accessing only one video course you're accessing all the video courses and we do that because when grief comes sometimes um, people are in a financial difficulty situation and we want everyone to be able to access these videos when you and you don't have to be a widow to access the videos you could just be somebody who wants to support what we're doing and a lot of the times like this essential oil workshop you don't have to be a widow. You can just be somebody who wants to get healthy and strong. But when you support what we're doing, you help to support our nonprofit widow empowerment programs. And it's just eight bucks a month. Um, and it, there's a money back guarantee. If you're not happy after 30 days, let us know. We'll refund you your money. You can stop at any time. Um, there's no commitment really. <laughs> it's just, and it's like, you know, buying lunch at a fast food place, but instead you get to empower your life and empower the lives of widows and their families. Um, thanks so much for joining us. We're so excited that you did stay tuned for our next, uh, grief empowerment videos and podcasts. And if you'd like to learn more, you can go to 180yourlife.com. If you'd like to learn about our nonprofit, our sister nonprofit, 180 Your Grief Widows Empowerment Center, which is an actual building, a full-time brick and mortar, um, for widows run by widows empowerment center. Um, here in Atlanta, Georgia, you can go to 180yourgrief.org. If you'd like to support us with a tax-deductible donation, you can do that by clicking the Donate button. Thanks so much. God bless, and we'll see you next time.